it's a beautiful day so I'll just just do this video blog outside and the issue is uh, discrimination in medicine bias uh, the New England Journal of Medicine usually frames it at frames it as by bias uh, it's actually racism systemic racism in this Washington Post article dated 8th, April 4th it's entitled the disturbing reason African-American patients may be tr undertreated for pain African-Americans are routinely undertreated for their pain compared with whites according to research a study released Monday shed some disturbing light on why that might be the case Researchers at the University of Virginia quiz white medical students and residents to see how many believe inaccurate and at times fantastical differences about the two races. For example, that blacks have less sensitive nerve endings than whites or that black people's blood coagulates more quickly. They found that fully half thought at least one of the false statements presented was possible, probable or definitely true. Moreover, those who held false beliefs from often rated black patients' pain as lower than that of white patients and made less and made less appropriate recommendations about how they should be treated. The study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences could help illuminate one of the most vexing pro problems in pain treatment today that whites are more likely than blacks to per be prescribed strong pain medications for equivalent ailments. A 2000 study out of Emory University found that a hospital emergency department in Atlanta, 74% of whites with bone fractures received painkillers compared to 50% of black patients. Similarly, a paper last year found that black children with appendicitis were less likely to receive pain medication than their white counterparts. And a 2007 study found that physicians were more likely to underestimate the pain of black patients compared with other patients. Researchers who study disparities have said that unconscious stereotypes, stereotypes are not unconscious. Okay, that's just, I mean, you know, they some unconscious motherfuckers if, this, if their unconscious is hiding a lie from them. About African Americans likely contribute to this problem, as well as physicians' difficulty uh, empathizing with patients whose experience is different from theirs. If they have unconscious stereotypes, then they don't understand words like reasonable and reasonable doubt and any other fancy words they got in the medical or legal system. The University of Virginia study buttresses arguments that physicians' bias is a factor. Its research had two parts. One looked at random sample, a random sample of 92 whites from across the country. The second queried 222 white medical students and residents at the university and elsewhere. In both cases, participants were given a series of statements that contained accurate or inaccurate information about the biolog bi biological differences between blacks and whites. We are expecting some endorsement of the false beliefs, said uh, Kelly Hoffman, a U of Virginia doc doctoral candidate in psychology who led the study. But she said the researchers were surprised so many in the group with medical training endorsed false beliefs. Some which she called were outlandish. For example, 58% of studies general, group, studies general group said they believe that black skin is thicker than white skin. About 40% of first and second year medical students also thought that was true as did 25% of residents, residents thought this. Doctors who recently completed their studies and are now receiving more specialized training. Also surprising was that so many of the students and new physicians did not believe true statements about biological differences between races, races Hoffman said. For example, only half of the residents knew that whites are less susceptible to heart disease than blacks. The medical group was given one extra test. After reading brief case studies of two patients in pain, one white and one black, the students and physicians 
were asked to rate each individual's pain as well as make treatment recommendations. The researchers then compared the results with recommendations from 10 experienced physicians who had analyzed the case studies without any racial information included. What they found, they say we in the article, is those who endorsed more of those false beliefs showed more bias and less accurate and were less accurate in their treatment recommendations, Hoffman said. Now, I've, I've been complaining about this ever since I've been back in South Carolina. Um, I had no issues about uh, pain medications and stuff like that when I was in New York, but because um, I was very entrenched and in, uh, involved in recovery, uh, that doesn't mean that if I went to the hospital or I went to the doctor and got some kind of uh, medical treatment and I was in pain that I would refuse pain medications. I wasn't a purist in terms of, uh, you know, being in recovery. Like, you know, I use mouthwash with alcohol in it, you know. Purists wouldn't. You know, um, if I had to rub alcohol on my body, I would. I know that I know that the skin is the most porous uh, 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 part of the body, organ, most porous organ we have in our bodies and stuff like that. I'm not a purist, you know, and uh, so I, I used, I generally told uh, uh, people about my addiction if I went to the hospital. I was honest about them, that in New York, and I always have been. But when I got down here, you know. I was here slamming in the face with uh, anecdotal stories from other people about, you know, how doctors were always uh, directing people toward over-the-counter medications and stuff like that. So we're not supporting the pharmaceutical industry in terms of pain meds or meds for anxiety and, and, and so forth and stuff. Blacks are not supporting that industry. So if you look at it, the funny flip side of it is White doctors are more uh, willing to addict and kill white people than they're, they are blacks. So that's that's kind of a plus for us. They they like giving us a break. They, they, they're killing us with diagnosis and treatment, but they don't want to kill us comfortably uh, without pain. We are beasts of burden and stuff like that. So I read a recent article that, that they give uh, black kids less pain medications than when they go to... Uh, uh, the emergency room or in hospitals and stuff. And when you tell white physicians that and, and, and white patient, doctor patient liaison, liaison people that, they look at you like you got two heads. And I had one black doctor tell me, well, oh, we get sensitivity training. training. Okay, let me tell you this. Black people that go into professional positions, including doctors, come out with Stockholm Syndrome. They're just like the slave masters and stuff like that. We would refer, refer to them as house Negroes if we were back in slavery time days. You know, they believe the same thing that white people have taught them. And they don't come out with any sense of, you know, the system that they live in and what their obligation is to uh, people of color, especially blacks. I have a master's degree in social work. When I went into social work, I knew I was going to give the feel of social work and the uh, agencies in social work all the hell I could give them when it came to racism. If you had everybody that went into a prof professional system that was black or any governmental or political system that was black that did this, the system could not stand. The only way it stands and continues if we have black people who are in these places, in the houses, and they do the same thing that their masters have done. So civil rights, uh, Mega Evers, uh, MLK, and anybody who's ever died, Malcolm X should be rolling over in their, in their graves about the shit that they died for and, and the people that they opened doors for, being the dumbasses that they are. So, you know, you, you, you aren't hurting, you know. Um, and, and, and I don't know whether this is from the top down with uh, diabetes and, 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 and um, nerve damage in your feet. You can have neuropathy and have the same nerve damage. But if you're not a diabetic, they discount it. You can't get the shoes and the inserts that you need. It's like going driving on different highways and getting to the same destination. The bean counters and the people that think about the stuff don't have sense enough to know that it's the same issue. 
So I don't understand how those people can say in a court of law or in any legal context or medical context that they understand what reasonable is or reasonable doubt is. They can't. They never have been. If, if, if it was the case that they understood what reasonable is, there would never have been slavery. They never would have wiped Indians out. So either they didn't know what reasonable or reasonable doubt was back in the 1600s, um, and somehow along the line they think they, they know what it is now, then they, they are uh, uh, sorely mistaken. They are, they, they are really mistaken. You know, so this is a blog uh, about health care and health care issues. And uh, folk, they aren't just killing us on the street, policemen. They're killing us in every venue that they can think of, that they have at their disposal. And it's no reason that black people don't sign up as organ donors and stuff like that and, and have still have this strong distrust of uh, the medical profession. They are mad scientists. And that's across the board, you know. Um, I have a master's in social work. We have some crazy ass social workers. And, and those are the people that create this, uh, do the social theory and stuff, who the congressmen are listening to that uh, make the policies that impact society the way they do. The social theorists make uh, 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 theory papers and policy papers about work and how workers should be managed and what workers think and do and how you should work them and people go go by that businesses go by it uh, the congress goes by it and stuff like that so the profession that i'm in they are some out to lunch motherfuckers believe me and 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 when i got my degree i confronted any out to lunch motherfucker in the field that i was working in and that's the obligation of any minority who gets in the door. But they're scared. They want to eat. They want to drive their nice car. And they want to live in a nice neighborhood. So they let the system that really doesn't give a shit about them continue. You know, and the, and the people that are at the helm or in charge are com comfortable with that. You know, this Negro is the first. We let him in here. We don't have to worry about his ass because he is not going to say anything. Thank you for uh, listening to my blog and viewing my blog when and if you do. Um, we just have to speak up whenever we experience injustices. We have too many uh, platforms not to. So they can't do anything to you if you talk about your own experience with them. So you have to call them out. We have to call them out every time we get a chance to. Um, I went to a doctor, Dr. Buffalo, and uh, I was receiving certain medications. And he was just like stripping them off. No, 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 no. You can't, you can't get this. You can't have that. And like he compared me to Whitney Houston and stuff. Here I am. I want a master's degree in social work and 32 years of sobriety. And he was going to, he's going to say, I'm going to be like Whitney Houston or some damn body. And he's giving my grandson um, upwards of 150 or 200 uh, hydrocodone, 7.5s, and was willing to give him 10s. And God knows he needed, needs it because he's a, he has sickle cell anemia. But he just saw me a few minutes, and he, he was able, he, he was going to like just strip me of, of any of uh, medicines that I had been taking because he wanted to. Um, Older gentleman, he, he really didn't give a damn about what I had accomplished, it seemed, and what my credentials were. House Negro.